today we are going underground in more ways than one. We're here in Glasgow and recently a friend of mine told me about a secret hidden historical railway station right in the middle of Glasgow's Botanical Gardens. Well I've always wanted to go to Glasgow's Botanical Gardens so the chance of seeing a hidden station was just too good an opportunity to miss and in order to get there we've got to go on the Glasgow Underground itself. be a little sad if a little geeky but I'm really looking forward to my little trip on the Glasgow subway today. Not only is it steeped in history itself but also it's recently been kitted out with brand new trains. We're going to start here at Buchanan Street station right next to Glasgow Cream Street Railway Station. The Glasgow subway was opened in 1898 and it's actually the third oldest underground railway system in the world after London and Budapest. It was also the first underground railway system to coin the term subway. As you can see, the Glasgow underground map is one great big loop with two tracks going in each direction. And it's the only underground system in the world that has never been extended beyond its initial route. So today to get to the Botanics, we're gonna get on here at Buchanan Street and we're gonna go round to Hill Head. I guess ultimately it doesn't matter which way we go, does it? We could just take the longer route and sit on the train for longer. ourselves a ticket. There we go, one adult return ticket on the Glasgow subway, £3.40. Absolute bargain. And it's dead simple to navigate the system. You've just got to decide whether you're on the outer line or the inner line. We're going to take the inner line to Hill Head. Here's our first glimpse of one of the brand new Glasgow subway trains. Very modern indeed, hey. Well, these are the third generation of Glasgow subway trains. There was the originals, and we saw one of those at the Bowness Museum last year. Then there was the second set, which were introduced in the late 70s and early 80s. I have to say, I'm loving the futuristic look of these third generation trains with their neon lights at the beginning and at the back. They really do look super dinky, don't they? Super modern. five feet eleven and my head is touching the ceiling stood up. What do you think of the maquette? I love the pattern. Once upon a time, because of the orange trains, the second generation orange trains, the Glasgow Underground had the nickname the Clockwork Orange.
let's just check out those fabulous neon lights one more time. a very short journey we're here at Hill Head I might have said Hill End earlier on my mistake what did you think of those dinky new Glasgow subway trains almost like toy trains weren't they really modern and very very stylish all right let's go and find that hidden underground station and the Glasgow Botanical Gardens it's only a five minute walk from Hill Head subway station to the Royal Botanic Garden but look what I've just spotted we're going to have to go over there and have a look at that police box. Oh, that is magnificent, isn't it? Glasgow is one of the only places left in the United Kingdom that has genuine 1950s, 1960s police boxes more commonly associated with Doctor Who's TARDIS these days. In Glasgow there are actually six specimens and a few of them have been turned into coffee shops like this one. However, it's closed today unfortunately. Maybe that's an idea for a future video. We'll visit all six of the Glasgow police boxes and see whether there are some pubs nearby. We could call it the police box pub crawl. Let's head into the botanics then. Love this entrance building. Well, there's plenty to see here, both outside and inside. Open air exhibits and glass house exhibits. That's the main glass house. Looks absolutely splendid, doesn't it? All right, I think this is what we'll do. First of all, we'll go and have a mooch around inside the glass houses. I believe there are some insect eating plants in there like Venus flytraps and pitchers. And then we'll go and find that secret hidden railway station. Just look at that spiral ironwork leading up to the ceiling of the glass house. That is just fantastic, isn't it? These glass houses are fabulous, aren't they? It's really warm in here. I guess it has to be to keep these plants alive, but it's just like walking through a tropical garden. Oh, and look, here they are, the insect-eating carnivorous plants. These pitcher plants are huge and they're really fascinating. The insects become attracted by the aroma of the flower and then they fall in and down to be digested by the juices in the bottom. Most people are probably more aware of the Venus flytrap. They're actually a lot smaller than you think, aren't they? Oh, these plants are absolutely fascinating. You know, it's not for the squeamish.
All right, now, as promised, let's go and have a look for this disused, hidden, secret, underground railway station here in the Glasgow Botanics. Just round this corner, I think. Ah, yes. Here we go. Just down there is the Glasgow Botanics Railway Station. Now, it's an underground station, but it wasn't part of an underground railway. It was just underground, and the station building was actually built at street level. It was opened in 1896, same year as the Glasgow Subway, and it closed to passengers in 1939. The station platforms are still visible down there, but it's long since been disused, and I don't think there's any legitimate way of getting down there, but we can still have a look through the railings and see the old platforms. a little bit more information over here. Botanic Gardens Station. What an amazing piece of history this is. Isn't it a shame that we can't go down there and explore those derelict platforms? Gosh, on this side, the platforms are even more overgrown. Look where the tracks used to be, just completely carpeted with vegetation. Oh, this map's useful. That's where we've just been. That's the disused station, but look, Assuming the line carried on this way, so there might be some more of it visible there, but it does say restricted area, so perhaps not. Yes, there we are. You can see where the tracks of the railway were, and the tunnel into the station would be just up around the bend. Quite rightly, though, it is fenced off with some rather scary looking pointy fences, so we won't be going anywhere near. Yeah, it's all behind there. Apparently there were plans at one point to rebuild the old station building and to convert the platforms into some sort of venue. But I guess that that's been abandoned. So all we've got now are those views down through the vents. Well, that was a little bit different, wasn't it? Insect-eating plants, brand new subway trains, and a disused underground railway, all within the same location here at the Glasgow Botanical Gardens. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one for some more travel adventures and a little drop of history.